so in unit 3 the first topic was automatic indexing let dis let's discuss what exactly this automatic indexing is it is a process of analyzing an item to extract the information to be permanently kept in an index so basically it is a process automatic indexing is nothing but it is a it is process of analyzing an item okay any item let's say uh, let's take an uh, item as this pen pen okay so this pen has to get analyzed to extract the information now what kind of lid they are using in this or what kind of refill which color they are using to extract the information to be permanently kept in an index index is a place where things get stored okay next point is it is associated with the generation of the searchable data structures associated with an item so this pen uh, like like this pen is associated with the generation of the searchable data structures okay so if you uh, search a pen you will get all the brands how many brands there are of pens right which is associated with an item related to item you will get all the searchable data structures they are seeing next point is the index can be based so the index index is basically the searchable or the stored items okay can be based on the full text of the item so only if you enter the full text of the item then you will get it in the searchable box right next is automatic or ma manual generation of a subset uh, automatic or manual generation any generation is fine natural language representation of the item so if you uh, ex like if you explain it in some other language the system can't understand so it is natural language representation of the item should be next is abstraction to concepts of item abstraction to concepts of item then the results of this process are stored in one of the data structure after it is tested after it is abstracted after it is done then this result of the process are stored in one of the data structure next point is all systems go through an initial stage of zoning and identify the processing tokens which is used to create the index so after uh, after all these processes the system go through an initial stage of zoning in zoning what happens in zoning basically is it gets scanned and it identifies the processing tokens which kind of tokens they are using which is used to create the index to create the index they use this next comes the data flow in irs this is very important guys after you write the automatic indexing topic uh, please write this data flow so basically first is it is standardized input i've written here in a short form sli acac and here slu cdu uh, standardized input so if you're giving some input to the, uh, any system then what does it do it does zoning zoning is like scanning okay logical subsetting zoning it does zoning like this pen okay we are giving this pen as an input like something we are giving input it gets first zoned logical subsetting then it uh, identifying processing tokens so what it identifies which kind of tokens are being used then it applies applies stop list it applies the stop algorithm it applies stop list that is it stops the algorithm and then it characterizes tokens again and then it applies uh, for uh, it applies for stemming and then it creates searchable data structure after that it creates a searchable data structure here after logical subsetting it creates a update document file and then after creating searchable data structure it gives to this search results and here it creates the hit list hit list then these both from here query comes and from here display comes to user command i hope this is clear you can remember this in short form s l i a c a c here uh, s l s l u c d u okay i hope this is clear data flow in ir is standardized input logical subsetting zoning identify processing tokens apply stop list stop algorithm characterize tokens apply stemming create searchable data structure here update document file create hit list okay thank you okay okay sorry i forgot this uh, the figure is expanded to show where the search process relates to the indexing process so basically we did this uh, figure right in this i'll explain this in words okay after doing this flow chart um, you need to explain it in words too so the left side of the figure including identify processing tokens apply stop list characterize tokens apply stemming and create searchable data structure is all part of the indexing process okay these are uh, these are all part of index indexing process system okay all these left side parts are all indexing okay